What's happening, everybody? The Bearded Prepper coming back to you. I've spoken to you in some of my previous videos about um, as I'm expanding my knowledge, my prepper knowledge, um, this year I'm looking to um, really enhance or expand my knowledge of mushrooms, fungi, you know, wild edibles in that area. It's something I've always kind of shied away from, um, you know, it's mostly because one bad mushroom will kill you. It's kind of a downer. Um, so, you know, I can't exercise or uh, express enough, um, concern that everyone exercise, um, very great caution and make sure that you know what you're doing. If there's ever a time to use your common sense, it's when you're harvesting and consuming, um, you know, wild mushrooms, because like I said, one bad mushroom, it'll take you out. Uh, and it may not be immediately, you know, it might be a slow, painful death. So make sure you know what you're doing. Um, just this past week, I had one of our uh, dear friends from the community give me one of these. Uh, she knew that um, I have been focused on e expanding my mushroom knowledge this year. And this is just something she got from the local co-op. It's just a little fold out. Whoops, excuse me there. A little tri-fold. Not tri-fold. It's got a lot of folds. Um, Multi-fold laminated um pamphlet and it's the mushrooms of the mid-atlantic states it not only talks about you know just general information about mushrooms what with uh you know gills ridges um like porous holes for spores and things of that nature so you can help identify mushrooms it tells you about uh basic information about identifying mushrooms and some of the more common ones uh, and, you know, just to kind of illustrate the extreme need to uh, take caution, I mean, like, look at, look at this one. That's a shaggy mushroom, and that's very similar. One is like, do not consume, can make you sick. This one is like, oh, it's delicious. Um, but, you know, even more um, important is like, you see the little skull and crossbones. But, you know, you look at, look at some of these, they look very similar. Um Matter of fact, it even says, you know, these can be kind of an RG yellow, and this one says they can even be a yellow RG. So knowing what you're doing is very important. Um, and then again, you have one, uh, you know, that looks red. In nature, you usually think red means danger, but that one's apparently edible. So you just really need to go slow when it comes to learning about mushrooms. Um, be extremely overly cautious. Find someone that knows what they're doing, which is what I'm in the process of doing now, uh, trying to align with an expert so I can actually go out and get some hands-on experience with someone that knows what they're doing. But um, today, I'm gonna to take you out and, and show you um, one of the more common mushrooms that you can find that does have lookalikes that often grow with it, usually in, in the same area, but those lookalikes are not um, really dangerous. So. It's a good place to start. And it's a mushroom called a turkey tail that's very prolific throughout the world, especially throughout the US. Um, it has a lot of health benefits. So let's let's go outside and take a look at that. I'll show you at least one of the lookalikes now and um, let you see what it's about. We'll, we'll talk about some of the benefits and um, you know, as we go, as I go through this year, I'll try to bring you additional videos on um, you know, mushroom identification and uses for mushrooms that probably grow in your area. Um, as I'm learning, I'll share the knowledge with you. So let's take a walk outside. Here you can see several different things going on all in one place. So you have some turkey tails here growing in clusters. This is a good little, little thriving group of turkey tails growing down the side. Some of them have, um, you know, gotten a little bit older, maybe starting to disintegrate a little bit. This is a bad time of year to collect anything, really, in the dead of winter. But then you come around to this side, you have something very similar going on. At first glance, you would think, oh, that's just more turkey tails. But if you look closer, you can see the difference and then even over here you have more stuff going on um, 
I believe these are actually a type of lichen, not even a mushroom. They call them false turkey tails. But once you really start looking at them, you can see the difference, not just in the outward, outward appearance, but some other details that I'll show you here as well. I've plucked a few off. And the turkey tail, these are actually kind of a bluish color, which I don't think are as common. They're usually more of a brown color, maybe even more of a, a brown, you know, like this. Actually, you can see some right here. See, this is why they, this is a brown one. It's got uneven edges. Looks kind of like a turkey tail when you look at it. Um, uneven edges, and when you feel it, it kind of has a, a leathery, leathery feel to it. A little fuzzy feel to it. And underneath, these have already started turning tan. They're older, but you can see it has little pores all on the backside. And then these also feel kind of smooth, not quite as much like suede like the turkey tails, but smooth, but the backside is solid smooth and more of a tan. Um, when they're fresher, the turkey tails tend to have more of a, more of a white, appearance kind of like that white there even brighter but they often grow side by side so you just have to look and you know know what you're looking for and look for the look for the uneven edges the colorations really look for the pores on the back of the turkey tails so that you know you have a true turkey tail and not a false turkey tail um, I mean, the reason I'm starting with turkey tails, as I said, because these lookalikes are not going to be really dangerous. But um, also, there are a lot of benefits I'm going to get into um, in this session of using the turkey tails. So let's talk about that. So as we're talking about turkey tails, um, you know, I mentioned there are a lot of benefits. Um, you know... God provides us with plants to really meet all of our needs. As a matter of fact, a lot of the modern medicines come from plants, either in rainforest um, or things of that nature. Uh, turkey tails in particular have been shown to be very effective um, at um, cancer treatment in conjunction with, you know, more traditional cancer treatments, maybe enhancing the, um, the effects of the cancer fighting drugs also fighting some of the side effects uh, from some of the cancer fighting agents that we use in medicine these days but also it supports really um, robust immune systems as well it, you know it, it aids your immune system almost like your immune system on steroids um, to have a supercharged immune system and as well as um, you know, some people say that it increases stamina during exercise, uh, things of that nature. And um, it also supports gut health. You know, the, the good things that grow in your, in your gut, it, it functions kind of like a prebiotic there. And many, many other uh, benefits. I encourage you to do your own research. And as I've cautioned you before, don't take me as your mushroom expert. I'm just starting to learn. I'm just kind of bringing you guys along on the journey with me. But... Um, with the turkey tails, you actually make more of a tea out of them as opposed to ingesting them like you would a lot of mushrooms. So I'm going to demonstrate that. Um, if you do it the right way, it doesn't really have a lot of flavor on its own. But, you know, if you mix some things in, uh, like I found that mixing in some blueberries, uh, maybe a little bit of turmeric and ginger for their uh, good properties of, uh, you know, fighting inflammation and things of that nature. Uh, and maybe sweetening it just a little bit with some maple syrup or something like that makes a really tasty tea. So, um, you know, you get all the health benefits and you enjoy, um, you know, the fruits of your labor, if you will. So why don't we go inside and uh, make a little bit of tea and I'll show you what that looks like. You can see here, I did pick through and find some that were wider. Those are the preferable ones more so than say the ones that had started discoloring. But you can really see in this lighting the, the pores on them a little bit better. 
that's how you tell that it actually is a true turkey tail by the underside looking at the at the porous surface so i'm going to trim these up a little bit get some of the the bad parts the where they attach to the stump and such off and chop it up so we can start the tea i've chopped the uh, turkey tails up into small pieces just so i can extract the good stuff out of them i'm going to i'm going to toss in a few blueberries because there's a super fruit right I'm also going to sprinkle in a little bit of ginger and also, uh, as I mentioned, some turmeric just for the uh, good anti-inflammatory um, <clears throat> effects that come from that. I'll also toss in a little bit of a little bit of maple syrup just to kind of sweeten it up like a tea uh, at the end. But you can see it's starting to bubble and I'm going to turn it down because we don't want it to boil, but just kind of get hot and then start simmering. Most um, most recipes I've seen, you can find them readily online, say to do this for up to an hour. The last time I did it 30 minutes, um, you know, I'm sure an hour is better than 30 minutes as far as extracting the good stuff from the turkey tails. So I encourage you guys to get out and experiment safely um, as well. So I'll bring you back and show you the finished project or uh, finished product after we get done. This is what I meant by don't really let it boil, but you can see it's simmering and bubbling just a little, steeping in there. It already has um, wonderful blueberry scent aroma coming out of it. It's been going about, I don't know, 35 minutes. I'm going to let it go at least 45 this time and I'll show you the finished product. Okay. The finished product. As I mentioned, I added a little bit of um, <clears throat> maple syrup just to kind of sweeten it. Oh, it had just a great blueberry aroma. The turmeric, the ginger in it, and most importantly, the turkey tail mushrooms. So, there is my turkey tail tea, full of antioxidants, all that goodness. It's going to boost my immune system and overall well being physically, full of prebiotics for my gut. The best way to um, stay healthy in a grid down situation or a survival situation is preventing yourself from getting sick to begin with. So here's a little tip for you. Hope you've enjoyed this video on turkey tail mushrooms. And um, hopefully this will be the first of many mushroom sessions yet to come. Until next time, I encourage you to seek out the wisdom of our Lord and Savior. Be prepared. God bless. I'm the Bearded Prepper, signing off.